it's another black coral that could be trisopathies in front of the sponge. This is RV Nav Bridge, move complete. Thank you, Bridge. <laughs> Tina makes it's a sponge, I think, a munidopsis. Yeah. I mean, a crab, I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe a munidopsis. Tina makes an interesting point so that she's joking, but uh, um, uh, call the, the reason we have so many bamboos is because now. it's a beast free seamount. <laughs> way to but, go, uh, way to go, there, Tina. So she may have an interesting realistic. point there Repeat that there could, for whatever yeah, reason, there um, could <laughs> literally be no sea stars here, which might be why so many of these colonial Didarians are so abundant. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get it. I'm sure that'll be a yeah. temporary okay. situation. Uh, that's an interesting sure. topic to uh, follow, like, uh, and I won't right now because we're looking at a squat lobster, but I'm, I am going to say that this looks two, to me two, like two, a two, type two, of two, muted two, squat lobster, works, not something that we usually yeah. see up on a coral or a sponge. So I'm a little bit surprised to see it perched in this location. Yeah, Scott, this sure looks like uh, Munidopsis Bridge, yeah. to me. Uh, the very white, large size, Bridge, the very right. long spine coming Clipper, out of please. it. And three zero if you look meters, at the front claws, two, if they zero, consume a little tighter on the front knots. claws, they tend to be more robust in the Munidopsis than two, three, zero in degrees, some of the Chirostylids and the Munida. And I think that I would be willing to put at least 50 cents that it's a Munidopsis. Yeah, Chris, and I also can see a little bit of orange behind that uh, back leg. I'll bet this is a female, and she's got eggs, and perhaps she's hanging around up here to uh, aerate the eggs. There's a brittle star huh. on there, That'd too. That'd be kind yeah. of interesting if, if, if they're in uh, incubation mode, they actually try to climb up on things to do exactly what you're talking about to provide uh, more aeration, oxygenation to the eggs underneath their tail. And he's talking about right underneath the yeah, last the leg there. Oh, bridge, move go ahead. Oh, you said so. that, sorry. No, go ahead. These ones? Uh, you said this uh, mutadopsis has more robust claws, which you can Agreed. see really nicely here. Um, if I recall, Chirostylidae, the other kind of squat lobster that we were seeing associated with the um, Chrysogorgia corals and so on, they have very narrow um, oh, yes. chela. And I believe chirostylid means something like needle or pincer hand, something like that. I'll have to check it out, but it's referring to that uh, less robust and more pointy claw. Yeah, and Tara Luke in the event log also uh, agrees with the mutinopsis. Uh, I think Tina is, is also, so it looks like we have a consensus. So uh, we're good okay, for science. We're good. Here. Yes, okay, thank you. Deal. When yeah. you're done. To go, to go back to this question about, you know, where are the sea stars, and uh, maybe that's why there's so many bamboos. Okay, it works both ways, of course. You wouldn't expect to see the sea stars if they didn't have two, anything three, to feed on. But I'm, where I'm there would be there. an abundance of those predators, you will see the predation. So I don't know if this is a chicken and egg problem or what. <laughs> oh, sure. I I think it was just an interesting point that Tina had brought up, and um, it's uh, something that uh, isn't immediately obvious. The... Uh, how do they say it? The presence of absence isn't the absence of presence. Just come straight 